Welcome back. Now in this video, we will create a splash screen. So first, we will go to words lib, open that, and right click in here, and create a new directory by the name of splash screen. Splash and screen. Now, right inside that directory, we will create a dot file. So right click and go to words dot file. There we go. Create it and we will name this as a splash screen. And guys, the name must be in small alphabet. And instead of space, we will give the underscore. So let us go and give the name. Splash. Instead of space, we will give underscore and then we say screen. So there we go with the dot file now in here we will have a stateful widget so in here write st and there we go with the stateful suggestion now we will name this as a splash screen and we don't need this key we will simply tell this and click in here right on the stateful widget and import the library click it one more time let me just check there we go import that one material dot dark so the red line has been gone already as you guys can see now what I'll do I'll simply copy that name and go to word the main dot dot right in here we will remove that scaffold from here simply remove that and pass the splash screen right in here and you can manually write in here the splash screen okay click in here and import the library splash screen dot dot that's fine now we will go to word this place screen dot dot right in here so right in here we will remove that and we will return material right in here there we go with the suggestion material and right in there now as gel we will take the container and right in the container we will do some decoration in which we will have a linear gradient color there will be a combination of a two beautiful color okay so let's go ahead and do that so in here we will say decoration there you go with the suggestion and then we say box decoration in order to get the gradient color so right inside that we will say gradient and then we say linear there you go with the suggestion linear gradient and right inside that now we will set the color so the first color that we will give is gonna be let's go with the orange one and also we will give the color another we'll go with the teal okay in here comma and right in here also that is fine now we will provide the begin it will start right at we will say alignment in here dot to center left it will begin that and we will end it right at let me just set it in here first alignment we will set it to center right it is gonna be and there the color okay there we just provide in here so let's move further and we will stop it now we will provide some digit for just stopping that so in here we will say 0, 0 0.0 and then and then we say 1.0 so it will stop right at that you guys will notice the output whenever we will run the app so now in here we will provide the tile mode and the tile mode is going to be simply we will go with the point that second one in here comma and that is fine now we will simply move those yellow lines so for that in here click and just add the const modifier there we go now first what I'll do I'll simply just open the emulator from here
it's going to take some time just wait there we go we will take it to the side like that that is fine now this is going to be take a little time and there is loading so just wait now everything is just fine now we will simply go and run the app in here just hold to load the app run man dot dot so wait for a while as you guys can see right in here we got this error okay so we will go towards the android app build.gradle line 72 you will just modify this okay let's go and modify that so take this down from here and we will go towards the android right in the app open that and build.gradle so write it and as you guys can see right in here that id okay what i'll do i'll simply remove that and we will write apply plugin okay it must be like that make it in a proper manner now simply close that and we will go towards our dart file which was splash screen there one okay in here now how to load the app again and let's go now and see if it's work or not this time it's working as you guys can see just wait for a while just to run the app and you guys will notice the output that linear gradient color right on the display screen so there we go with another error let me just see we will make some changes and we will change the SDK version also to 33 so what I'll do back again we will go towards the app build out gradle and SDK version let me just see so right in here the first thing that we will do we will set the multi dex enable dex the capital D right in here and then we say enable and set this to true and also that minimum SDK version we will just set this to 19 for now and we will just check it later on and the last thing that compile SDK version as you guys can see right in here okay what we will do we will simply just tell this from here and we will change that to 33 okay all just fine now we'll close that okay and right back on the splice screen how to load the app again this time it will work just fine just wait for a while and you guys will notice the splay screen with the linear gradient color with the orange and teeth as you guys can see right in here okay just wait and the app is running as you guys can see the output right in here okay there we go with the linear gradient color okay I was talking about that in here we just implement that okay orange and teal and we set the properties there we go so it's working totally fine and you guys can see the output right in here so basically this video is getting a little lengthy so we will end this video right here and we will start working further right on this play screen right in the next video so see ya